Hi there, welcome to this latest signing and lining demo video by Design Pro Software. In this video, we're going to be looking at a stretch of UK motorway to show how Design Pro Software solutions can assist you on major highways corridor schemes. The stretch of motorway is very typical in the UK. It's approximately two kilometers long and has a selection of gantry signs, various road markings that I will turn into 3D and then import into Navisworks to view the BIM information. Okay, now we're inside Lion Design Pro UK and if I zoom in on the scheme, we've got some traffic management, uh, we've got some studs and regular lining and we've also got things like the gantry location, a move up further up the scheme, we've got road text and arrows, uh, 1040 series of markings, i.e. the tiger tails, um, bifurcation arrows, more studs and we've also got some uh, anti-skid leading up to, well buff anti-skid leading up to the stop line. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rotate our view and what you'll see is you'll see a surface with no 3D road markings on it. Um, if I just zoom in around this area, now I'm going to now press the drape 3D button and choose the surface. Okay, so now the road markings have come in, you can see that took 18.2 seconds, now that's for a approximately 1.2 kilometer um, <clears throat> section of motorway. So if I turn the view to shaded, we can actually zoom in and have a look at the markings in a little bit of detail. So the text comes in uh, in 3D, uh, 1040s, the service in comes in along with the studs, and if we zoom back to the start, you can actually see that uh, the TM, i.e. the traffic cones are put in, they also come in as well. So now we're in Sign Design Pro UK, and what you can see is we've got four sets of signs. We've got gantry number one, two, uh, three, and we've got a warning sign for uh, an entry uh, in 450 yards. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all those signs into 3D, um, and they're going to appear at the, the correct position. So what I've done is I've set up some view just to make it easier for sort of the view to view the signs coming in 3D. So I'm going to turn the BIM toolbar on, I'm going to choose the convert 2D to 3D sign, and I'm going to select the border, and we'll see that the sign comes in quite nicely in 3D. I'll just rotate that one so I can have a look. On to sign number two. Again, convert 2D to 3D. In comes the sign. For gantry number three, we have three separate signs, so I'll just click each of them in turn. And then finally, for the final warning sign, which is like a multi stack sign with a yellow backing board, you choose the border, and in comes the sign. So I've imported one of my gantry signs from AutoCAD into 3D Studio Max and the reason for this is to show how well that they sort of export from CAD into other softwares. The great thing about using it in 3D Studio Max is if you do have a, de like a, a demo reel to produce or a, a video, an animation, you can see that producing the signs in AutoCAD and then importing them into Max, they come in perfect. So I'm going to spin that around and show you. Everything looks fine. If I show you wireframe, you can see that all of the geometry has been preserved perfectly. So when we turn back to realistic, we've got a perfect representation of our sign face. Okay, so now we're in Navisworks and I've already imported the signing and lining drawings. So obviously what we can see is we can see the gantries of um, uh, a faux gantry in there just to show you the gantry signs in situ. So I'm going to change some of the views just so you can actually have a look at how good the gantry signs look and the road markings. So if I just tick through them, look at the gantry sign that we converted to 3D earlier on along with the road markings themselves. Uh, the warning sign that we converted, uh, tiger tails, road text, uh, we have the traffic management in the form of cones uh, with the buff surface in. 
and the driver's eye view of some text and arrows. So I'll just zoom out so you can see the size of the scheme. Okay, so if I then go to Gantry Table, what we'll do is we'll start interrogating this drawing to check the, the BIM data or, or the asset data. So if I select this line and then I select the object, you can see over here that in the properties toolbar, uh, the Line Pro UK BIM toolbar as company has given us the asset data for this stretch of line in here. And then if we do the same with the gantry sign, we can select the sign and again the Sign Pro UK BIM properties toolbar has popped up and it's given us the BIM or asset data for that particular object. Thank you very much for watching.